Matter of Commissioner of Police versus Afara Johnson and Blanche Ogona, charge number PMC 1210, that the accused persons, Afara Johnson and Blanche Ogona, and others at large on the 15th of June at Citizen Fortune Bank in the Port Harcourt Magisterial District, did conspire among yourselves to commit felony to wit and robbery, and thereby committed an offence punishable under Section 5B of Special Provision Act 389, Laws of the Federation, 1999. Now my judgment, having examined all the evidence before me, and having taken into cognizance the plea of the defense counsel, and having also considered the gravity of the offense that the accused persons have been charged with, I have come to the conclusion that their crime is a most heinous one that deserves maximum punishment. Dispossessing innocent citizens of their properties and monies is bad enough as it is. Going ahead to wipe off the entire family and raping a woman and her daughter before killing them is an act of the most bestial kind and cuddles the blood. Therefore, this honorable court finds the accused persons guilty on all counts. To make an example of them and to dissuade others who are so inclined to such acts to desist from entertaining such thoughts, I sentence you, Black Shibobuna, and Afara Johnson to be hung by the neck until your death. May God have mercy on your souls. This is my judgment. All right. How do we spring them out of that place? Spring them out from maximum security. From death row. Even the Nigerian army will find it difficult to do that. So are we going to leave our father and black sheep to die like chickens? One of the rules of the game is that you don't get caught. to swear an oath that we'll stand for each other, we will not kill each other, and we will wipe out the justice and his family off the surface of the earth. my daddy's breakfast. Was that breakfast meant for you? I took an official permission before indulging myself. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Honey. Yes, dear. You're not eating your food. Yes, dear. I'm late. I'm sure they'll serve breakfast on the flight. If not, I'll find something to eat when I get to Abidjan. Mm. As for you, continue wolfing down everything you see, eh? One day, you go so fat that you can't even pass through those doors. At least I will look like somebody. Mm. <laughs> and now, young woman, if you're still interested in seeing me off to the airport, you better get on your feet now. Okay. Wait for me, Daddy. Hurry. Bye, Mom. Okay. Stop at the Chinese grocers. Pick some foodstuffs. You don't have any left in the house. No money, no list. Collect money from your daddy. And you don't need any list. You know the things we lack in the house, don't you? I do, Mom. Mm -hmm. Barnabas. Yes, Ma. Please, don't take her anywhere else from the airport. We have lots of work to do in the house today. Okay. See you at. I'll miss you. Take care of yourself. Okay. Do take good care of yourself too, eh? And have a safe journey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. To Rachel. I thought your mother said I shouldn't take you to any other place than the Chinese grocery. So, why are we here? I just need to pick up some chocolates and cards. I won't be long, okay? Okay, if you say so. Let's go.
this is trouble. What? We'll be attacked by armed robbers. Hey. daughter of Justice Raymond was shot dead. Shut up! Don't say such things with your mouth. Eh? Gee, thank God they did not recognize her. Oh. Eh? If they had known she was the daughter of her father, it would have been a, a different story, you know. Mom, they gave me back my money. Ah! Madam, it was terrible. Oh. If you see the way they were shooting, eh? They broke out the gun. They were shooting the head. I was Rambo. If not for me. She was the nigga in action. See me, eh? Don't touch. I, I was the action man now, uh, madam. <laughs> Rambo. Ah, uh -huh, Ross. I said I was going to ask you. That girl be stolen. Have you think saying uh, Robin Hood and his married thieves will do him? How does that affect you? I have a right to take money from someone or refuse to take. Uh -huh. And you think you can now partake in the ones that fools like us have taken for you, Abby? Zuru, I am the one who suggested we hit that supermarket because I move in the circle of those who go to such places. Hey. <laughs> Illiterates like you will not even know that that place will generate the kind of money we made today. Don't yeah. insult me. Don't insult me. Yeah. 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 Zero, that would not be insult, huh? In a statement of fact. No, 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 no. You too. You won't understand. You won't understand that. All you know is everywhere. We will soon refine you. You know I am rocket. But what is the best one? We can cross the Yana through. <laughs> the amount of time you spent standing over that girl. For a while, I thought we were going to rob off everything, including our pants. <laughs> <laughs> See where the mind go. See where the mind all this. <laughs> Both of you have dirty minds. Concentrate on sharing the money now. So, cha 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 I promised Neka I was gonna help her download some information for a case. She just got her computer and she still doesn't know what to do with it. I hope it won't take you the whole day. You worry too much, Mom. I am an adult. I can see. You're all grown up. Mom, when you were my age, you had gotten married. Oh, yeah? And I expect you to do the same, young lady? I will, Mom, when the time is right. I'll come back early. Okay. Don't be late. You're not going with your car. Battery is down. Unless you lend me yours. Not on your life. Thought as much. Bye, Mom. <laughs> okay, bye. My car broke down on the way. I had to take a taxi. My brother, no, 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 no,
Tick dem an. What's the matter? Man, talk. What's the problem? I don't feel like talking. I'm waiting. What will you do if you walk into a place and someone recognizes you? As what now? As a robber you are. How can anyone recognize me? Do I pay social visits or do I attend general meetings? That is what you think. But I entered the same taxi today with the girl I returned her money during her last operation. Did she recognize you? I cannot say. But I recognized her. And if I did, I'm sure she would do the same. Damn! I mean, that's a big problem. So now we, all we have to do is to find out where she stays and do something about it. If she finds out where we stay first, then we're all headed for death. Even if we find out where she stays, what can we do about it? Death more. A dead man does not make money. The important thing is that she did, which means she must go. That is not fair. That is not fair. She didn't recognize me intentionally. At least she didn't plan to enter the same taxi with me. Hey, that's crass, man. That's crass. The important thing is that she has recognized you. And that is the end of the story. How do we find out where she lives? I did. The taxi stopped her in front of their house. Fine! Which means we have to pay her a visit. Bother yourself about it. It is part of the dangers of our business. If this is the path we have chosen, then we must be ready to take the good and the bad that comes with it. For Oga, he said we should see him this evening. Huh? Oga? Yeah. Oga? Hey, Oga now. Good evening, boss. Good evening. Uh, What's your uh, We are looking for Oga. He said we should see him this evening. Huh? <laughs> we don't get Oga here, and only Madame and her team neck. Oga don't die. Yeah. Uh, that, now what for you? As I tell you now, you believe. Uh, actually, it's not a guy we are looking for. Eh? Um, of course, we know a guy has been dead a long time ago. Uh, it is Neka we are actually looking for. You know, uh, we can't just come in like that because we don't want to get into trouble with her mother. We don't know how she will receive us. You know now. Correct, bro. <laughs> Russo, you know too much. <laughs> Bring your hand now. Do something. Hold, hold this one. Yeah, too much. Yes. Ha! You don't get a problem now. Ah! Now look at the front of 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 the
Oh, I'm gonna come in now. Nice to you, Ruth. Nice to you. first. Well then, maybe I can go to the house now. Yeah, of course. But, um... So what's a beautiful girl like you doing alone along this lonely street? You know, bad boys here and there. Where are you coming from? I went to a video club to get some movies. Oh, can I have a look? Why oh, has this been tough, oh? Black Arrow. <laughs> Oh, nice I films. Should, I should be on my way now. Yes, I guess so. Um, mind if I walk you? Sure, why not? Rachel, and why do you think you're coming from by this time of the night? Mom, what did you say? You didn't hear me. Is anything the matter? Nothing, Mom. I'm all right. You want something to eat? No, Mom. I'm fine. Anyway, your father called. He says he'll be back tomorrow. Whatever. Good night, Mom. Maybe I should call the police. My life is definitely in danger. But if it is, why didn't he kill me then? He looks like a nice guy though. Didn't he say the robbery was a mistake? Hey. <laughs> uh, look, if the police 
come knocking on that door. I will personally kill you before they get me. We had that girl where we wanted her. Just one bullet. One bullet, that was all it was going to take. And there were no witnesses. If the police come here, I will tell Will you quit Benyakin? The girl does not know where we live for Christ's sake. How will the police locate you? And you think she would see you one day start screaming? She's not that kind of person. God. And you were so stupid that you went ahead and introduced yourself to her. You could as well have written down this address and your phone number. Maybe I should have done that. Hey, hey, Ross. What's up? Whatever made you do what you did? I don't know. It's not something I can explain. But there is something about that girl. Maybe it's her innocence. I don't know. She just doesn't look like someone who should be hurt. This boy has gone mad! I was warned not to talk to anybody. But I, I have a feeling that your life is in danger and I have the responsibility to tell you. Well? We were attacked by arm robbers last night. Robbers? Yes. Jesus. But they didn't take anything. Instead, they were looking for you. From, from the way they sounded, it's as if they had run into you somewhere and they wanted to make sure they silenced you. And you gave them my address. What else could I have done? They put a gun to my head and threatened to kill my mom and I if, if I if I don't tell them. And also to kill me if I tell anyone they came. Rachel, don't you think you should report this to the police? Or at least tell your father about it? My father does not need to know anything about my private life. Besides, I have seen them and they do not mean any harm. Hello. What is going on? How? I just told you that robbers came looking for you to kill you and you just dismissed it with a wave of the hand. Neka, nobody is looking for me to kill me. It was only a case of mistaken identity. It has been straightened out. But they were robbers. I wouldn't call them that. They, 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 they had guns in their hands and dead in their eyes. Neka, leave that thing. It's not everything that can be explained to you. Huh. Can I have something to drink in this house, please? Oh, sure. Sure. But we still need to explain. Mecca, you bother too much. Yes, come in. The door is open. Mind if I sit down? You. You again, Neka. It's all right. I can handle it, okay? Right. I don't mean any harm, so it would be wise if we don't do anything foolish.
sorry. But I needed to see you. Well, you've seen me. How did you locate this office? It's a small world. Oh. Have you forgotten what I do for a living? Do you know what you're doing? I don't know. What I think is something I must do. Neka knows you. Don't you think you're risking your safety by coming here like this? I am sure you won't let her do anything foolish. And what makes you so sure? I don't know. I... There is something about you, Rachel. Something in your eyes. Something... I can't explain. But I need to see you again and again. I need to be with you. I don't need to see you. I don't need to be with you. Just go. Just go, please. Go. This is the my one division, anomaly station here. Now the ones from the Borokiri area stay here unless they have to move. Now the best way to get out of the neighborhood is to go through the sound field area, right? And hit the express. That way we'll cross into Creek Road and get into Agri without encountering any police. What about the ones at the station bus stop here? How do we get about that one? My mind now. Those ones don't even care. All they want is just 20 naira and they won't even check you. Yeah, but that's if you don't get prime information about that we are coming their way. Mm. That's a chance we are willing to take. If need be, we'll blast our way through. They won't even know it's us until we hit them. Do not forget the element of surprise. Tacot Midtown is the worst place to carry out an operation. What about the traffic jam? I found out who the girl is. Which girl? Rachel. The girl we encountered during our last operation. And uh, who is she? She is the daughter of Justice Raymond, the man that jailed Afara and Black Sheep. What, what did you say? You heard me. You know, I swore when Afara and Black Sheep were being sentenced that if I meet that man or any member of his family, I will dispatch them to their graves. And that is exactly what I will do. What purpose would that serve? 
Afara and Black Sheep are guilty of the crimes they were sentenced for. Come, bros. Have you gone soft in the head? Look, 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 look. Zoro, if you think everything is to be achieved by brute force, then you better think again. Listen to me. Alright. Listen real good. Now that I know where they are, I will find them and wipe them off the surface of the earth. And if you stand in my way, I will send you to your grave too. Do you understand me? That is if you don't go first. Now listen. If anything happens to that family, whether you have a hand in it or not, I will personally make sure that your own family will not find your pieces to bury. Is that clear? Hey, hey, now, now, guys, calm down. Zero. Give me the call. Zoro, I said, give me the call. Maybe we should talk. There is nothing to talk about. I know you too well to believe this. What's this fascination with this girl anyway? She's just another girl. She is not. There is something about her. Something I can't lay my finger on. I can't even start thinking about hurting her. Maybe yes. That was before you found out who she was. But now that you know she's the daughter of Justice Raymond, then that changes the picture it here. It doesn't change anything. We took an oath here, remember? And that is not something to take lightly. An oath? To kill a man for simply doing his duty? What kind of duty are you talking about? The same duty that sent two members of our gang to their death. You could have been one of them, you know. What did you call it? A gang. A gang of armed robbers. You seem to forget whom we really are. Renegades. Rebels against society. Against law and order. Yes. Common thieves who should be wiped out like vermin. Well, if that's the way you see yourself, it's quite unfortunate it's not the way I see myself. I'm making a living here, man. And anything that should impede that, should be removed, including the one and only daughter of Justice Raymond. Whew. Is it possible that your dark heart can imagine and conceive a word like love?
You want some help? No, I'm fine. But this window. <laughs> You're sure? Very sure. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Rachel. The food is not meant for an art class, you know. It is meant to be put in the stomach. I mean your stomach. Is something the matter, young woman? Nothing, Dad. I'm not hungry. Whatever it is that has gotten you this worried, you better spit it out. You cannot continue like this. You've already missed your court session today. I know you have a boyfriend. But do you know what it is to be in love? As in, really in love? In love? Are you in love? Yes. Hmm. Uh, who with? You've not answered my question, Rachel. Who? With Desmond. Who is Desmond? One of the guys that came to your house looking for me. <laughs> Rachel, no, 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 no. You, 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 can, you can't be serious. No. That guy is an arm robber. Who cares? He is a human being. I, I, I just don't know what to do. He's like a picture inside my head. No matter how hard I try, I cannot erase his face. Yet, I know that it is wrong. Especially considering who he is and who I am. Rachel, do you know what would happen if your father finds out about this? I don't have any plans of telling my father how I feel. Apart from that, I do not even know where this guy stays or if I will ever run into him again. I am begging you in the name of God to not allow such ideas to grow. not meant for an art class, you know. It is meant to be put in the stomach. I mean your stomach. Is something the matter, young woman? Nothing, Dad. I'm not hungry.
whatever it is that has gotten you this worried, you better spit it out. You cannot continue like this. You've already missed your court session today. I know you have a boyfriend. But do you know what it is to be in love? As in, really in love? In love? Are you in love? Yes. Hmm. Uh, who with? You've not answered my question, Richard. Who? With Desmond. Who is Desmond? One of the guys that came to your house looking for me. <laughs> Richard, no, 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 no. You, 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 can't, you can't be serious. No. That guy is an arm robber. Who cares? He is a oh. human being. Oh. I, I just don't know what to do. He's like a picture inside my head. No matter how hard I try, I cannot erase his face. Yet, I know that it is wrong. Especially considering who he is and who I am. Rachel, do you know what would happen if your father finds out about this? I don't have any plans of telling my father how I feel. Apart from that, I do not even know where this guy stays. Or if I would ever run into him again. I am begging you, in the name of God, to not allow such ideas to grow in your head. Please, Rachel, please. please God Rachel. help me on this one. Please. We swore an oath that we would take vengeance for any that is wronged, that we would not kill each other, and if need be, give up our lives for one another. So, and part of that oath is that we take out justice to Raymond and any member of his family whenever we look at them. We have located them. This is the time for us to stand on our oath. And what if I decide that I'm no longer part of that silly youth? Then you leave us no choice and take you out too. circumstances and situations. So, what do you guys think you're doing? Unless you agree to do what you're supposed to do, then that part of the oath has been nullified. Both of you cannot carry out that decision. When we took the oath, we were five. Three of us are left. Two were sent to their deaths by the same man we are asking you to take vengeance on. If you will not do it, we will take you out and then kill him. I will do what must be done. I... It's not going to be now. I just need some time. It's
Ja, no. This is a 500,000 Naira check. If the case favors my client, he will put a further 2 million Naira in your account. You know, this is highly irregular. Trying to bribe a judge could end your jail term. <laughs> Your Honor, I wouldn't call this a bribe. It is just a token of appreciation for the good work you are doing on the bench. Your Honor, moreover, my client knows how to take care of his friends. Free him of this murder case, you are going to live large the rest of your life. Nobody should know about this. Those that talk too much don't be blocked in this type of business. Hi, Dad. Hello, Princess. How are you? I'm good. My daughter, Rachel. Beautiful. Just like a drop of sunshine. We'll keep in touch. Very well. There's no problem. I'm sure things will work out well. Who was that, Dad? Nobody you want to know. Sit down. Thank you, Daddy.
knowing your jackets. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, dear. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Princess. I forgot to give this to you last night. Who gave this to you? What is it? I, I don't know. I saw it outside the gates when I got home yesterday. I asked Idris and he said he didn't see anybody drop it. What is it? Some gibberish about a member of a gang who are out to get, uh, take vengeance on me for sentencing two of their members to death. But Daddy, I don't think you should take that as gibberish. You should take it with utmost seriousness. Princess, you sound almost as if somebody told you to say that. Rachel is right, you know. At least if for nothing else, for our sakes, you must report this to the commissioner of police. No, the police can be compromised. You should take it to the commandant of the military detachment in town. If I don't know you, I'll think you know more about this than you're letting on. Dad. All right. I'll report to the garrison commander and see what he can do about it. You know, there's something about that young lady I cannot quite understand these days. She's growing up, but make sure you report this to the police. I'll do just that. All right. Where did you go last night? Do I now have to make a list of my itinerary and give it to you? It's your business. I'm only telling you because I want you to conserve your energy. We have an operation tomorrow night. Operation? Nobody told me about any operation. Well, I'm telling you now. Look, I'm not ready for any operation right now. So you guys can go and leave me out of it. Besides, I think we should lay low for a while. The town is really hot right now. Ah. We should lay low so hunger can kill us up here. Now listen, my friend. Everybody goes for that operation, including you. Nobody stays back. Not in this house. that has been following you everywhere. I saw him come down from the taxi with you this morning and since then, he has been following us to everywhere that we've gone to. Who is he? And what does he want? <laughs> he is my bodyguard. Bodyguard? 
What for? <laughs> Have you forgotten that my father is a judge? Rubbish. Why didn't he start following you from the day you were born? All right. <laughs> the governor just thinks that the judges in the state are under threat of assassination by hoodlums. Mm -hmm. So he assigned security detail to all the judges and their kids. Hmm. That's just it. Really? Are you okay now? If you say so. Let me say so. <laughs> Madam, you talk to say nobody I cross this gate until I come back, so I will carry soldier you come on. I am only going to the supermarket down the road to buy chocolate. I don't think any assassin will be hiding between here and the supermarket. Besides, I am tired of walking around the whole place with goons following me around. But Madam, it... I don't need any security detail. Now, if you don't mind, could you please open that gate and let you me go... out? Madam, you say if I allow you come out, Madam, you go, you go sack me. Idris, do you want to lose your job? Idris, leave the gate. Let me out. Let me be responsible for whatever happens. Let me out. Move out. Please, come on, 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 Doro, no, Doro, no, no, daughter of the devil! Yes, come in. Yes, what is it? There has been a rubbish, sir, and your daughter was involved in it. What? What did you say? Nothing really serious, sir. She is in the hospital. She's been treated for trauma. Um. She was involved in a crossfire, but she was not hurt. One of the robbers was shot, and uh, he's in the hospital now. Is he dead? Uh, no, sir. And uh, he was just shot, and but he's in a critical condition, sir. Which hospital is she in? Um, the central hospital, sir. All right, thank you. Okay, sir. Helen. Yes, meet me at the central hospital in the next 15 minutes. No, 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 nothing serious. There's somebody I want us to see. Okay, bye-bye. I just say she is one lucky woman. The bullet um, passed through the triceps of the robber. And didn't touch her. And she was standing exactly behind the robber. Who shot him? Mm, I may say he's a stray bullet. Nobody's actually sure of what happened. Hey, oh, doctor. Will she be all right? Oh. I think she's okay. I am all right. There is nothing wrong with me. What I don't understand is how you get caught up in this kind of situations, eh? This is the second time in as many weeks that you found yourself on the scene of a robbery. Why? Maybe it is a calling. Maybe I was born to be a robber. Rachel. <laughs> That's not funny. Sorry, Dad. Doctor, the robber that was shot, is he in this hospital? Because if he is, I would like to see him. What for? Mom, I am alive because of him. Let me see him and at least know what he looks like. Mm, I think if she wants to see him, there's nothing wrong about that. Let I'll take her. Thank you. Please see me at my office. Let's see. 
I am your mother. I know when something is wrong. Now tell me what is it. Mom, what do you think they will do to the guy they have arrested? Mm, prosecute him or even jail him. Mom, I saw him. They chained him up even though he is on life support. That is what they do to criminals. Just stop thinking about him. Go to sleep. And thank God that uh, you are alive. Hmm? Okay, Mom. Good night, I'll see you in the morning, eh? Gained consciousness. And the doctor said he'll be discharged from the hospital in the next two weeks. The good thing is, the police are going to charge him and his accomplices to my court. I am going to enjoy doing this. Mm. I am going to make sure that they get the stiffest penalty that they deserve. If for nothing else, for the attempt on our daughter's life. That and other things. This society is absolutely corrupt. There is no straight person. They are all deserving of jail terms. The criminals on the street and, and the ones in offices. My dear, just do what is right. You can bet your life on that.
You shouldn't be here. You could put yourself in trouble. Thank God you are alive. What is there to thank God for? They are still going to sentence me to death and hang me like they did to Afara and Black Sheep. They will not do that, Desmond. That is the maximum punishment for the crime I committed. Your father is a harsh judge. He is the same person who sentenced Afara and Black Sheep when his daughter was not involved. Now that you are, who knows what he will do to me? Desmond, you saved my life. You could have gotten killed in the process. And if my father doesn't take that into cognizance, then he is not a human being. You seem not to know how the law works. Listen, Desmond, I do not know why you chose to do what you were doing. But I know that you have a heart that is different from that of a common thief. I also know that if you are shown another way, you will not go back to it. That is what I want to do. Help you find that other way. And if I have to move mountains to do that, I will. I will, Desmond. There are no mountains to move. There are no tears to be shed for people like me. The society does not want us. The law hits us with passion. At times, even hell itself rejects us. We are neither bat nor bird. Nobody gives a damn. I do. I do not know why. But that day you put a gun to my head and looked into my eyes. I knew I had to find you again. What will you be doing with the man? Who will be dead in the next few weeks? You will not be, Desmond. You will not be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm not what you expected. It is all right, Desmond. It is all right. I can see the real you. I thought they said this girl was shot at one of them. Which girl? The daughter of Justice Raymond, of course. The one inside. What is she still doing visiting this one? Uh, she's in the best position to answer that question. Maybe you should go and ask her. Yeah. So if my mother wants to hear that they're good, get back to the donkey. Eh? Oh, oh, you know. So stop asking questions that you don't get answers for. Okay. I'm only doing my job. There's nothing that love cannot do. It brings two people together and keeps them together no matter what. There's nothing that love cannot do, cannot do.
Where are you coming from? There is something I wanted to discuss with you, Dad. And I know that it is not something that we should talk over at home. So, what is it? It is about the robber that is to go on trial in your court. Yes. The trial kicks off tomorrow. What about it? Dad, it was not the police that shot him. It was a member of his gang that shot him. I don't understand this. Maybe you should run it by me one more time. The gang was the same that threatened to wipe us off the surface of the earth for your sentencing to death of two of their members. They saw me. They wanted to kill me. And he saved my life. What you're trying to tell me is a bit too hard to swallow. Maybe... First, how do they know it was you? I have encountered them before. I know them. How? That time we traveled, when they wanted to attack the supermarket. I saw one of them, and they traced me to the house, thinking I was going to report to the police. That was when they found out I was your daughter. They then wrote that letter. We gave you the letter? Yes, Dad. The one going on trial brought it to my room the night before I gave it to you. They came into my house? Yes, Dad. He could have killed us if he so wanted. But he said I should warn you that you should take precautions. He did not want anything to happen to us, Dad. Now, how did he save your life? He threw himself in front of me when they wanted to shoot me. Why would he want to do a thing like that after planning to exterminate you? I've been seeing him for a while, Dad. We are both in love. You have been doing what? Yes, Dad. Right from the time I ran into them trying to rob the supermarket. You? The daughter of Justice Raymond has been doing what? Seeing an armed robber? Dad, he has promised that if he gets out of this, he would thread a decent path. He's not like the others, Dad. He is different. I will make him change. The law will run its full course. If he is found guilty, he will face the appropriate punishment. And that appropriate punishment is what, Dad? For armed robbery and violent crime. That must be a death sentence. You cannot do that to me, Dad. He means the world to me. Rachel. Rachel, you only bought a child. The world you live in is not the same that an armed robber lives in. You will find somebody to love you and to love when the time is right. This one is not for you and definitely will not be. You will not sentence him, Dad. You will free him. I will do no such thing. You will, Dad. Because if you do not, I will make sure I tell the world all the underhand deals that go on in this office. Underhand deals? Yes, Dad. I know about all the bribery. I know about all the corruption. I know about all the times that the cost of justice has been thwarted because somebody put enough money into your account. You might think I am a child, Dad. I am not. I will do whatever it takes to keep what I love. I love Desmond, Dad. And he is not going to jail. me after you left the office. He said he needed to see me. He said there is an important uh, family meeting. Do you have an idea what it is all about? No idea. Are you sure? If he didn't tell you, what makes you think he would have told me? 
Anyway, uh, he said it has something to do with you. He hasn't told me anything. Let's just wait until he gets here. Is mom home? Yeah, she's inside. <laughs> Let me see her. I'll be back. I called you here because some level of madness has gone into your sister's head. What's the problem, Dad? Ask her. Rachel, what's the problem? Your sister is in love with an armed robber. One of a gang who threatened to kill us because I sentenced two of their members to death. God have mercy. The criminal is on trial in my court. And she's demanding that I set him free. But that is not possible. And what makes it impossible? Are you out of your senses? And I asked, what makes it impossible? Dad has swung cases before in favor of people who have bribed him. I don't see anything difficult about this. Will you shut that thing you call him out? Does the truth hurt? Well, if it does, just know that I hurt too. It is my heart, my life you all are toying with here. You will set Desmond free. Your father will do no such thing. Then you will leave me with no choice than to stand up against you in court. I will defend Desmond, even if it takes the last drop of my blood. And if you rule against me, I will take the case to an appellate court until I get judgment. And even if I don't, I will still tell the world that the real thieves are not the ones with guns, but the ones who stand in judgment over them. Are you calling me a thief? I have decided to withdraw from presiding over the case. It will be transferred to another court. No, Dad. The case will not be transferred to another court. You will handle it. What I will not have is to be blackmailed by my daughter. This is not blackmail, Dad. I love Desmond. And if you say I am your daughter, then you should give me what I want. And what you want is for me to go against everything that my profession holds sacred and, and free a man who was caught in the act of committing a robbery. And Dad, and I am also aware that your profession is against bribery and corruption. The last time I came into your office, I saw a man give you 500,000 and promise to give you an additional 2 million naira if you swing a case in his favor. I hope that you tell mom where all the money we spend in this house comes from. Rachel, I will not have you talk to your father like that. And mom, maybe it is time you started asking yourself some questions. Rachel, you're putting your father in a rather difficult position. Free a boy who is guilty and he becomes a ridicule of his entire legal profession. If he is executed, mom, my entire life will become a ridicule. Oh, Rachel. Another job might not find him guilty. You can tell that to a two-year-old. All right. Let's come to an agreement here. If he discloses the whereabouts of other members of his gang, he might be set free. You do not have any moral right to talk about freeing anybody. 
You do not have any moral right to stand in judgment over somebody. What he does with a gun, you do with your pen and your position. Desmond saved my life. Richard. He was willing to sacrifice himself for me. I am not even sure, even though you are my father, that you will do the same for me under such circumstances. If anything happens to Desmond, we will all suffer the consequences. And I will make sure of that. Richard. Rachel. I could very easily disown you as my daughter. I know you are not but difficult to call a press conference and tell the world what I know. If it is so easy for you to free a criminal because somebody has offered you money, why is it now so difficult to free the one your daughter says she loves? I just want to ask you a question. Did your gang really plan to wipe my family and my out? What good would that do if I answer you? I need something to believe in. Yes, we did. And why did you not? When you love somebody, you do not seek to hurt the person in any way. I love Rachel. And I will never think about hurting her. How can you love her? You don't know her. It takes a breath to know somebody. It takes a sigh to decipher what is in the heart. It takes a look to know your destiny. I know Rachel as much as you do. I love her and that is all that matters. Even if you sentence me to death and I am hanged, it makes no sense to me. I only thank God for giving me the opportunity to show her how much I love her. If that is all what you have to say, I guess I should be going back to my cell. Morning devotion is going on. Before you go, promise me one thing. That you will change. That you will live a decent life. My daughter will not date a criminal. Neither will I allow her to marry a man who dispossesses others of their money and property by use of force. One criminal is enough in the family. Will counsels please approach the bench?
What do you think you are doing? I don't understand you, my lord. Cut out this, my lord, rubbish! You can't defend him in this court. I would like to see the statute that says so. He needs a lawyer, and I'm standing for him. You are my daughter, and your brother is prosecuting the case. I am the judge. What do you think this is, a family meeting? My lord, whatever it is, I will stand for my clients in this court or any other. I can slam you with the contempt of court. With all due respect, my lord, you can take your content of law and do whatever you want with it. Will you shut up your mouth before I shut it for you? My learned colleague should watch how he talks to me. I will talk to you anyhow I want. Do not forget you're my kid sister. Kid sister? Order! Order in this court! This will be sorted out later. This court stand like John. Both of you, my chamber. In the matter of Commissioner of Police versus Dustman Wache, charge number PHC1520, that the accused person, Desmond Wache, and others at large on the 8th of October at Diamond Supermarket in the Port Harcourt Magisterial District did conspire among yourselves to commit felony to wit and robbery, and thereby committed an offense punishable under Section 5B of Special Provision Act 389, Laws of the Federation. 1999. Now my judgment. From all the evidence which has been presented by both counsel, in this case and having examined them thoroughly, I have come to the conclusion that the prosecution has not proved its case beyond reasonable doubt. Therefore, this case should fail. I hereby order as follows, that the accused is hereby discharged and acquitted. Desmond Oweche, you are a free man. You can go home. This is my judgment. Arise.